Welcome to Web Style Press. If you are new here, consider subscribing and hit bell icon for updates. While working with front end, we do not always have perfect HTML structure. Sometimes devs need quick fix for a small problem related to DOM. Let's play some DOM manipulation in jQuery. We have got three front end problems to solve. Number one, find a character or characters in text and wrap it or all found characters in span or any HTML tag. It can be div or it can be span, it can be paragraph tag. And number two, find a word in text. If present, add class to that element containing that text. Number three, find a word in text. If not present, add class to those elements not containing that text. I have got this HTML file and then this is .scss file and we have got custom.js file and I am using LiveSass compiler extension that will convert my .scss file into CSS. You can search this extension by going here in Visual Studio Code and after that you'll click this watch sass and it will watch for changes in .scss file and this custom.css file will be updated on each file save for this custom.scss file. Let's build our HTML. I have got snippet for the HTML. This is my HTML that contains custom.css style sheet linked with it. That is this one. And then we have got our jQuery and we need jQuery and then we need custom.js file. We will write our functions or JavaScript in custom.js file. Save and here is our output. We do not need this paragraph. H3 and inside this heading tag we have got some text. Text1 hyphen, text2 hyphen, text 3. Now this is the output and inside our CSS file this is h3 and color for h3 is let's say orange. Now as you can see color for hyphen has also changed. I want to use a different color for these hyphens. How will you select these hyphens from this text? If I inspect this text, this is just the H3 heading tag and inside this text, how will we select this hyphen to change its color? One way is to wrap this hyphen inside span tag. So we will write a script that will select the hyphens from this heading text and wrap each hyphen inside span tag. So we need span tags around these hyphens. And then we can style those hyphens. Let's say we will use span and then color for this span will be gray. Let's write our script for our problem number one. So first of all, document dot ready function. And let's move these inside this function. And we are solving problem number one find a character that is hyphen in our case or characters multiple hyphens in text 
and wrap it or all found characters in span tag so we have got h3 h3 contains hyphen dot html function underscore comma html and then return html dot split hyphen dot join span hyphen span so we are taking the text inside s3 heading and we are looking for hyphen inside this h3 h3 that contains this character and then for each hyphen we are wrapping it with span tag as you can see the color for this hyphen has changed if we inspect this heading tag as you can see hyphens are wrapped in span tags now our second problem is find a word in text if present add class to that element so let's type some more html i want an unordered list this time milk sugar sweet milk cold water salt eggs this is our unordered list let's style it a bit font size 20 pixel and then it has got the li so from this unordered list let's find li tag containing the word milk if that word is found add some clause to that particular li so this is also case sensitive and we are solving problem number two now so jquery ulli contains a selector and we are looking for the word milk and this is case sensitive dot each function and so if li has got this one text then this this will have this li tag dot add class let's say highlight So as you can see this ally has got the class highlight and this ally that has got the word milk has got the class ally this ally that has got the text milk has got the class highlight 
so our script found two ally tags with the text milk and then it applied class to the tag ally that contains the word milk so now ally has got the class highlight inside our CSS ally and highlight class background color let's use yellow so these two allies have got class highlight and we have applied some styling to it now what about the remaining if ally has not got the text milk let's apply a different class to that ally and style it differently this is our third problem find a word in text or search a word in text or filter a word in text if that text is not present in that tag add class to those elements not containing that text so we will again use contains so your ally contains milk but now we will try to find the allies that haven't got the word milk in it so the selector will be not contains and this contains containing this milk will go inside this so contains our word becomes not and inside parenthesis contains that word dot each function this dot add class no highlight so as you can see this ally has got the class highlight this ally that has got the word milk has got the class highlight and all other allies have got class no highlight let's style no highlight and no highlight let's use background color gray So by using jQuery contains and by using these techniques, you can find a character in string and wrap that character or those characters inside a particular HTML tag. And also you can search for a word and apply classes to those words depending on the requirement. And if you want to see the output for this .scss file, this is the output. We have got h3 and we have got h3 span and then ul, ul li and uh, li with the class highlight and then li with the class no highlight, no dash highlight. And this custom.css is being used in our HTML file rather than this .scss file. SCSS file is being compiled into this custom.css file. I hope you liked this video. If I missed anything, you can comment down below, ask questions related to this topic. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon for updates. Join us on social media. Links are in the description below. Stay tuned for more updates. I will see you in the next video.